Hey guys, it's Navel here doing a review on the PX21 Ear Force gaming headset from Turtle Beach. I will be going over the pros and the cons, some reviews off of Amazon, and my personal encounters with this universal headset. So, let's jump into it. The PX21 is two headsets in one, a stereo USB headset for chat sound and an amplified stereo headset for game sound. That means you can independently control chat and game sound from a single control box whether you're playing PlayStation, Xbox, or PC games. The PX21 gives you a significant advantage because you can hear sound cues others can't so you react faster and take them out before they could take you out. It has unique gaming features such as varial bass boost, chat boost, stereo expander, and two volume controls for chat and game audio that will provide you a competitive edge that can make the difference between winning and losing. If you're serious about your PlayStation, Xbox, or PC gaming, then get serious about the sound. Move up to the Ear Force PX21 and become a better player while experiencing your games as they were meant to be heard with large, comfortable ear cups with lightweight and rugged design that provides the ultimate comfort during extended game time. Alright guys, let's look up some reviews off of Amazon.com, which is also where I purchased this amazing gaming headset. Now, there are lots and lots and lots of mixed reviews on this headset. Lots of people said they're, it's a very good, excellent headset. It's awesome. They recommend it to whoever wants to buy this, and they just say go for it. It's a great headset, and I agree. I've never had a problem other than... One part of the headset actually goes completely deaf, but all I have to do is unplug the audio jack and then just plug it back in, which, which isn't really a big problem, but on the flip side, a lot of people actually have that problem. Let's jump into the bad reviews, because lots of people actually have the same problem as me, but they can't just simply unplug it and then replug it back in. It actually goes completely deaf. A lot of people say that the uh, wires get tangled up very easily, and it, they just have really bad experiences with it, but the, I've never really had a bad experience it, with it. I've never had a bad experience with it other than that other problem. So yeah, guys, let's jump into the pros and cons of this gaming headset. Alright guys, starting off with the pros, you have a 16 foot long cable. The microphone and headband are adjustable. You have a volume control switch on your control box. It has very good sound quality, which this is what I've been recording the whole commentary with, and it works with everything. Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS3, PS4, Mac, PC, everything. And now, going with the cons, you have a quiet hissing noise when the expander is on, and it can break easily. And the only reason why I say that is because from all the reviews off of Amazon, apparently it's very easy to break, but I guess I've just been getting lucky. I've never broke it so yeah let's jump into the next segment of this review all right guys after reviewing this product for a long time i have come to a conclusion that this product deserves a four out of five alligators if you want me to do more reviews like this drop a like on this video so yeah guys please comment and subscribe thanks for watching see ya bye